Yeah, that splotch here. So it's really probing basically the earliest structures we know in the universe. When you look at this image, there are lots of splodges all over the place. What made you look at that one in particular? We have been seeing this object already in the very early data we obtained nearly two years ago. And I think the surprising thing was that it's actually very bright. And so our initial reaction was that, well, it cannot be that distant because um, it's too bright. And so we took better data, and in particular, we also took spectroscopy. And we could clearly see that, no, that galaxy, that this yellow blob here, is really um, this most distant galaxy that we have uh, ever seen. Something very strange is happening in the early universe, and scientists have no clue why their theories are failing to explain these strange mysteries. Scientists are finding thousands of strange objects in deep field images, and they have no idea what exactly they are looking at. Recently, astronomers have discovered many strange objects in the early universe, and they said that these are not galaxies because these objects are completely different compared to early galaxies. In addition, the Webb telescope looked deep into the universe beyond the Dark Ages for the first time, and what it found has astonished astronomers. Most scientists agree that the universe began about 13.8 billion years ago. However, the strange structures revealed in these images challenge this timeline and could lead to major shifts in cosmology. In light of these groundbreaking observations, several Nobel laureates suggest that the early universe might be vastly different from what we thought. Some even propose the radical idea that the universe may not have had a beginning at all. Instead, they speculate that the distant universe which we are considering as the early universe may actually be something else about which we have no idea. Lambda CDM of cold dark matter and the dark energy that everybody considers a standard. According to that model, some of these, m these objects they're seeing from the early universe are too massive. They'd have too many stars in them. It Do doesn't have make time to make to become that massive. It, it, well, that had all to be, of the right? all of the ordinary matter of the universe would have had to go into these things, and that just doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. You don't have enough ordinary matter to produce that many stars. Mm -hmm. So, what did the James Webb Telescope just see at the very edge of our universe? And why are scientists claiming these discoveries could change everything? Since 1929, we have known that galaxies in the universe are moving away from each other. This is because the space between galaxies is expanding. Well, this expansion is not as simple as it seems. It has no center point, which means that wherever you stand in the universe, you will see that everything is moving away from you as if each point is the center of the universe. And scientists have also observed that space is not only expanding, but it is accelerating, which means that distant galaxies are moving away from us at a faster rate than nearby galaxies. Now let us assume that the Earth is located right here, and when you look deep into the space using the Webb telescope, you will see that everything is moving away from the Earth. As we know that the farther a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from us. So when we look at distant galaxies, we will see that in a specific region in space, some galaxies are moving away from us at the speed of light. Scientists have called this region the Hubble Sphere. And the galaxies beyond that region are moving away from us at a speed even faster than the speed of light. So common sense would say that we will never be able to see the light coming from those galaxies, because the light coming from these galaxies is moving away from us at a speed faster than the speed of light. But surprisingly, this is not true. We can still see the galaxies that exist beyond the Hubble sphere because the Hubble sphere is expanding due to the accelerating expansion of space. And as this region expands, it brings more and more distant galaxies into our view that are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. But there is a limit to how far we can see into the universe, and scientists have called this region the observable universe, which is about 92 billion light years across. If you look at the edge of this region from Earth, you will see a universe that is filled with the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is because when we look deep into the universe, we are actually looking at the distant past of our universe. Let's think about this. The most distant galaxy ever discovered by the Webb Telescope is Jade's GSZ-14, which exists inside this observable universe. 
And here we are actually looking into the past of the galaxy when the universe was just 290 million years old. Right now this galaxy has gone beyond the boundaries of the observable universe and we cannot say what it looks like anymore because the light coming from that galaxy will never reach us. Its stuff will have turned into some other stars or galaxies a long time ago. The universe exists beyond this observable universe. There are more galaxies and stars out there that extend to infinity. Remember that this boundary of the observable universe only for the species on Earth. For other species that live beyond this, the volume of the observable universe will be different. Now, according to our standard cosmological model, which says that about 14 billion years ago, the entire observable universe and everything beyond it that we can't see would have compressed into a tiny infinite point we call the singularity. Actually, no, I mean, that would be true if the universe is finite. But if the universe is infinite and it kind of looks like it is, then it was always infinite. So the Big Bang would have happened literally everywhere. This means that the first galaxies did not form in any particular region of space. They formed everywhere in the universe, even beyond the observable universe that we cannot see. It seems as if matter came into existence everywhere in the universe at a particular time. And the cosmic microwave background radiation that we see everywhere in the universe is the first light of matter coming from every direction in the universe. So this is what our theories tell us about the size of the universe and how it came into existence. But wait, the new discovery of the James Webb Telescope is seriously challenging these theories, as we knew that when the Webb Telescope looks deep into the universe, it will see the first stars and galaxies at the edge of our universe. But when the Webb Telescope recently looked into this region, it found many strange bright objects that do not seem to be early galaxies. Many observations have been made to understand more about these objects, but scientists have failed to understand them. Recently, scientists conducted a study published in the Astrophysical Journal. Researchers found 87 galaxies that might have existed just 200 million to 400 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery shocked scientists because our current theories suggest that the universe shouldn't have been able to form so many galaxies so quickly. Hao Jing Yan, an astronomer and one of the study's authors, stated that even if only a few of these galaxies are confirmed to be real, it would mean we need to rethink our understanding of how galaxies formed in the early universe. Take a look at this fascinating image. It shows a unique early galaxy that challenges everything we know about galaxy formation. Normally, galaxies are made up of a variety of materials, such as gas and dust that orbit their center. These materials are crucial for the formation of stars. After observing many galaxies, scientists found that at most only 10% of a galaxy's gas turns into stars. However, the Webb Telescope recently identified three galaxies from the early universe that have puzzled astronomers. Spectroscopy data from these galaxies reveal something extraordinary. They have turned 100% of the material around them into stars. This discovery is surprising because, according to our current cosmological models, it is thought to be impossible for a galaxy to turn all of its available atoms into stars. These unexpected findings are causing a lot of confusion among astronomers. They are questioning how these galaxies formed so early and why they look so different from what our theories predicted. Some scientists now suggest that these objects might not actually be galaxies, but something entirely different that we don't yet understand. Scientists are now saying that if these objects are actually galaxies, then the Big Bang model is fundamentally flawed as it suggests that the Big Bang could not have produced galaxies like these in just a few million years. In the end, we can say that no one really knows what these objects are. Well, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to share your thoughts on what these objects could possibly be.